Hi, my name is Sarah Ray Barkas. Welcome. Welcome to my little section of the interwebs. I went shopping at American Eagle, and by went, I mean I sat on my couch, drank coffee, and spent money while I pet my cat. Physical cat. Real cat. Not anything freaky. So, I probably spent like 700 bucks, I think. I don't I, some stuff was on sale, but not really, so... <laughs> Okay, the prices vary at American Eagle. Get stuff when it's on sale if you can. I got some stuff from American Eagle and Airy. They're basically the same brand, but you know, they're, they separate, they sell different stuff, whatever. So I have a little bit from both. I am typically a 1618. For those of you tired of hearing it, the new folks want to know. So I'm 5'4", 1618, right? That's my normal size. I am well versed in Aries swimwear because I partnered with them like two years ago and I ended up getting like 40 swimsuits. <laughs> so um, I got to try it all pretty much and I really liked it and I still like it. So I saw this and I thought this was like the hottest thing, okay? I thought it was so damn cute. I'm really feeling jungly prints if you've seen my little beauty room I'm working on downstairs. <laughs> that's vlog channel stuff, uh, then you would know. I like the design of it. It is technically a one piece, but it's hardly connected. You know, this is the only part that's connecting it. And it is really comfortable. It's in an XXL. I'm not gonna say anything crazy, like I could have gone down to an XL, but it is a little loosey goosey, right? Just a little bit. Um, not so much that I think it'll fall, like if I was in water, you know, and the water was sloshing about. Um, but it's a little loosey-goosey, relatively full coverage. I will say that Aerie has lots of different options for bottoms when it comes to like cheek coverage. I love that. They also have a lot of different options um, as far as like how you want the waist to fit. But the day that I was shopping, a lot of the stuff that I wanted was sold out and so I was like, eh, if the people want, I'm also in the people, uh, if the people want, I can f do like a full on legit deep dive into Aerie swimwear. Um, if you wanted to see something just on their swimwear, I only have two in this video, but otherwise it fits really well. You can adjust, I didn't, but you know, you can like adjust the halter to make it, you know, a little tighter, a little looser. I'm not a big halter fan. I think I've mentioned it before. It's just something about the pressure that it adds to my neck. And look at these tatas, right? Who, where are they? Where are they, right? I barely have any to begin with and it causes pressure on my neck. I can only imagine what those of you with like real like substantial chests are going through because I can't even hold up two pounds, okay? Let's, I might be being generous here, giving them each 16 ounces, I don't know. But I, just, so just know that, right? If you're gonna wear a halter top, know that you are supporting it with your neck, girl. Okay, so just know that. But otherwise, I really like it. It's really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the other one. Hi, I'm a dodo brain. So I'm editing currently, right? It's right there. Um, I just realized between trying to film like the TikTok, the Instagram, trained and doing everything at once, I messed up and I did not show you the second swimsuit. It's the bomb. I don't know how I didn't show it to you. I was too focused on talking about it on TikTok and Instagram and crap. It fits great, it's an XXL. I'm just gonna insert the little clip so you can see it. It just ties around, like it ties around the boobs and then you wrap it around your waist and then you tie it again in the front. Um, I'm just gonna insert the little clip of me wearing it. It is, mwah, it's perfect. It's better than the one that I just showed. Anyway, sorry I messed it. I tried to do too much at once. It doesn't work. Airy, look what you done did, Airy. Look what you did. Look at this suit. Guys, I'm a 1618 normally. And these suits, mm, yes! Okay, check me out. I threw this suit back on and I got this also from Aerie. I find that like some of their stuff really does run kind of big. Regular price is 40 bucks. It's an XXL, it's a romper, a romper. I live in rompers, I freaking love them. Like, yes, yes, give me one piece of nothing and just let me live my life in it. But like I said, their stuff runs big sometimes. So like this is a little oversized. And it feels weird to say like, oh, I go to American Eagle and buy like an XL because I'm just not an XL, right? I know me, I'm an XXL at least. XXL to 1X, right? But Airy and American Eagle, they just tend to run a little looser on some things. So like with this, I definitely feel like I could have done the XL. And it's so very comfortable, obviously. I mean, it's not like hugging me too much anywhere. Um, I like it. It's not the most flattering. I've gotten some separates, some rompers, some jumpsuits from American Eagle that I have just kept for years and years and years, which is saying something because I get so many new things constantly, obviously, because of doing YouTube. And I have just not been able to give those up because they're just 
so good. So just keep an eye out and every now and again you'll just like see something you're like, whoa, that's the one for me. You get that and then girl, that's the one for you. So I don't dislike this. It is cute over like, you know, a little swimsuit moment. Um, but it's definitely too loose for me. I probably would have just done the XL, but I do appreciate that it has like pockets in it and it's just a nice, it, it's kind of like that almost like, a, not terry cloth, but I don't know what this is. I mean, it's just like a really soft kind of oversized already. It looks, you know, worn, it looks a little pre-worn. You can't fully adjust the sleeve, so like that's totally up to you what you wanna do there, but I don't want it like all the way up there, you know? Like that's not, it was supposed to be kind of loosey-goosey and cute, so. Anyway, I like it, but be mindful of the sizing because it does run big. Now, that being said, seeing as I'm a 16, 18, typically like an 18 at American Eagle, um, if you're like a size above me, then there's a good chance that the XXL would probably work for you. And it's really, really stretchy, like in the stomach area, and then otherwise just very loosey-goosey. So definitely very accommodating, and they are certainly subscribing to some vanity sizing, <laughs> which is fine. It's fine for the big gals, because at least more of us get to be included then. So the top kind of works. I think you have to like this style in order to really be feeling it, because for me personally, I only buy them once in a blue moon because it makes the smallest part of my body into the biggest part of my body. So my waist goes from like, oh, look at us, to like, oh, look at us. You know what I mean? We get a little bass in our voice, all right? I still think it's really cute, and it has a time and a place. So I like it. It's an XXL. Um, you could probably get it cheaper somewhere else, you know what I mean? But I will say that they do little dainty floral prints very well. Uh, the shorts, though, let's 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 get into it. I love American Eagles denim, like many other people. I do think that, like, depending on the particular cut, like a lot of people give retailers crap because their sizing isn't consistent. Now, you can't expect different styles to all have the same sizing and different uh, makeup, you know what I mean? Like when something has 2% spandex versus when something is 100% cotton, when something is, you know, a mom jean. They got mom jean, dad jean, boyfriend jean, girlfriend jean, and what was the other one? It wasn't stepdad, but I swear to God, I saw uncle jean somewhere. I don't even know, I don't even know. I don't. I, it's it's above me at this point, um, but you you know you have to understand what you're buying. So these are a Tom girl jean, a Tom anything. It's never gonna fit me. But I got it purely for the sake of well, one I was just <laughs> fingers crossed, but two just to kind of show you guys the difference. So you're gonna see this pair of jeans, size 18. I mean, could I get them together? Maybe with like a really deep breath and a prayer. Yeah, I probably could get them together. Do they fit? Absolutely not. I mean, we are getting dangerously co close to like coochie exposure here. Do you see this? That's where my panty normally is. You see that little crease? That's panty line crease. What's going on? That's a high slit for me. Um, but these don't really stretch. They're just not, they're in black so you can't really tell, but they're doing nada for my butt, okay? They're not helping the situation in any way whatsoever. So, you know, I bought these with like, <sighs> Let's see, but I already knew a Tom girl, a Tom boy, whatever, they never ever ever work for my body. I think they're for someone who has a more slender hip region, hip and thigh. You know, maybe you got a little belly, but maybe like you don't have so much down here. That's probably who it's gonna fit a little bit better. So let's get into another pair and I'm gonna show you how an 18 can fit when you buy the right style for your particular body. Okay, these are again an 18. These are a low rise. Can you believe that? Like those words normally would scare anybody without like, you know, pelvic bones showing. But no, these are a low rise. The last ones were a high rise and they fit like that. They fit like garbage, obviously. These are not. These have that next level stretch. That next level stretch is so good. It's so good. It's what makes the jeans so buttery, so smooth, so soft, so like, forming to the body. So love them, right? These are, they're also calling a midi. I have a pair very similar to this that I have worn to death. Uh, and they were from American Eagle like three years ago. And so I was like, let me re-up, right? So um, these are great. These are so comfortable. It might not come across on screen, but like the waist, the stretch in it, just the feel overall is incredible. And again, they're an 18. They're the exact same size as the previous one but they're a totally different type of denim. So on top, I have this cute little top, which is 20 bucks. This is an XXL. I get these as well from just like this, where it's completely straight across, and then you have these little teeny tiny like straps. <laughs> I get these from Urban Outfitters, but they run smaller, more fitted. It's, uh, it's just a different fit. So 
they both places have them if you're looking for different um, colors and stuff but I got this because this is my summer uniform when I want to go somewhere and be cute normally I just want to go somewhere and like have bike shorts and a giant t-shirt on but if I want to be kind of cute you know if I'm doing something uh, then I will put this on this is 50 bucks right $49.95 try to get it on sale this is my fifth one that I've purchased this one has the sweatery hood on it and I love these things okay this is basically my summer uniform if you want to see me in the fall add leggings instead and deepen the color of the flannel okay then you have my fall outfits but this is my absolute jam like this is who I like to be when I'm out in the world it gives me a little bit of coverage like I like the oversized look I love it it's really comfortable it can cover your butt if you want it to if you're wearing leggings or something I'm obsessed with these as they release them I constantly buy them I always get an XXL because I like the really big oversized fit you guys know I have big arms and I have plenty of room so if you're a little bigger than me you'll probably be okay in this one and this 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 is Sarah this is summertime fine SV that's me oh look at this one I forgot I got this little shirt too and you know what it's an XL but it said oversized and like oversized equals comfort period okay that's what it is so it's a super soft like really kind of worn in little t-shirt which I love it's not one of them crusty dusty ones that like want to you know retain its shape that it came in I don't need that it's really oversized I like it I love it this is also another staple look for me <laughs> in the summertime uh so oh man I wonder if like when are we gonna be able to go back to a game? Are they having people at games now? Okay, now we're gonna start getting into the things that I bought separately that now I have to show together, even though this isn't necessarily how I would wear them. I was super on the fence with this skirt. It's like a little too feminine, a little too dainty. Like, with the fact that it's tiered, it also lace sorry and also floral like it's a little bit too much for me it's also kind of a lot of material I could tell right I could tell in the photo but for some reason it still ended up in my cart I don't dislike it though this is an XXL plenty of room like all the way around so again I potentially could have done an XL and as much as you guys hype me up and I love you for it I am not shrinking um I have pretty much remained the same size consistently for like the last yearish. okay since I moved in here two months ago I gained like 12 pounds but like half of that wasn't even for real it wasn't even real life stuff like I got rid of like five of them real quick but the rest of them are sticking around so I'm pretty much at the same within the same 10 pounds or so for all of this time so hopefully that's helpful to you if you bought something based on my recommendation and my sizing and then you know you think that I'm changing but I'm not it's usually just cameras lighting angles whatever um, so this is consistently just it's they're running a little bit big <laughs> and I don't hate it this does have a matching top they tend to do a lot of coordinating sets but they don't sell them together the top I knew would be way too much the two of them together it was just it wasn't gonna happen for me so this I got instead which they have in different colors and stuff this is a little rib net not sure if you can actually see the ribbed part of it I love this neckline though really cute very comfortable it was 20 bucks um, I think the skirt was like 40 50 good god I'm so you could definitely wear it further down like back in my day I used to wear my skirts down here and you can see the difference between wearing it down here at what some people would consider your waist and then up here at what I would consider my waist and then above right sometimes I go high high with my stuff and then we're in like baby doll territory sometimes it works this time I would say it doesn't but sometimes it does so toy with where you're letting your clothing fall on you and you'll see how different it can make the outfit look just depending on where you let your uh, bottoms especially sit but also your top you know what I mean like I could leave this here and it looks like this it's like oh that's a little much Sarah or I could pull it out I could pull it down that looks worse but you get what I'm saying right it doesn't really work very well with this outfit gosh I apologize Okay, I've got like a real battle of the bike shorts thing going on right now. I have been ordering them from everywhere. Amazon Express, American Eagle, Torrid, uh, Forever 21, like I forget where I got the other one, Rue 21. Uh, and then I got these other ones somewhere else. I don't remember where they were from. But anyway, I've been buying them from everywhere because bike shorts, they're real to me. They are important to me. So I had to pick up another pair from American Eagle or really from Aerie. These are the offline bike shorts, which 
I'm sure one of you can explain to me, is that like just a smaller brand within their brand? Like a sort of a separate kind of thing, you know? So I had gotten some from them last year and I wore them yesterday and they were like the little zebra print ones and they were really buttery soft, but they ran kind of big. So I felt a little loosey goosey. I didn't feel like pulled together <laughs> when I had them on but they're crazy comfortable. Now, the ones that I've been trying, I have found a pair that I am just blown away by them. They're from Express. I'm gonna link them in this video actually because I'm blown away by how much I love them and I'm wearing an XL from the Express ones and they're like a little big, okay? So like they run big as well. But these ones are great. The Torrid ones cut me off down here. Um, <laughs> I could do a whole video on bike shorts. I don't know if anyone really cares to see it though. So, oh, I'll do a tick. Oh, I'll do like a TikTok or an Instagram or something instead. How about that? Um, you can follow me there. Wait, I put it over here. You can follow me there. <laughs> so, um, these ones fit great. They're an XXL. These are kind of like a dusty. They look kind of like a honestly like crusty old bike shorts. The color, like they're a little faded, a little worn. Um, these were the only ones I could find in my size that day. Like thankfully with American Eagle, they do restock things. So if you see something, you love it, and it disappears. Sometimes it comes back, so no worries. Um, but these are very comfortable. These, I mean, these are up there with the Express ones. And honestly, they're they're like a little more fitted. And so I'm feeling like after wearing these for a few hours, they're not going to stretch out quite as much. So these I'm really liking. They're not tight on the thigh, which is major. The Torrid ones literally make me want to... Yeah, I ripped the seam on one of them and of course now there's like threads everywhere, but I couldn't handle it I couldn't handle it. Why would you make the thigh part tight as hell knowing damn well you sell to plus size people? We be having big ass legs dog like what are you doing? So I mean, I'm giving these very high ratings based on like first impression I'll get back to you after I wear them and I'll, like I said, I'll make a TikTok or something. Okay, this is a really cute top, came in different colors. Again, I got it in XXL. This one I would stick with the XXL. Um, not that it runs tight in any way. It's extremely uh, comfortable. The entire waist is stretchy. So it's just, it's incredibly comfortable. This comes in different colors as well. I got this pretty little sky blue color. This you can tie if you want to give yourself a little more or a little less cleavage. Girl, that's up to you. Do what you do, do whatever you want. And then um, the skirt. So this is sort of similar to the last one, but not quite. It doesn't have as much material. Um, this is one that this happens every now and again. I don't know where I would sit it because the top is so wide. Like if it was half that size, easy peasy, I would sit it right here. Like this is where it would fall. This is really comfortable. It, you know, gives me a nice little shape and it's very uh, loose and flowy on my stomach still. As you can see, it's aligned. It's a little bit high in the back when I have it here, uh, but I think it'd be okay unless I was like really shaking my ass or bending over you know, like a dummy instead of bending over how you're supposed to, you know what I mean? Like when you gotta pick something up. Uh, anyway, otherwise it's very comfortable, obviously. I prefer this to the previous one for sure. And one way that they tend to style their like skirts and stuff on American Eagle is they always pair them with sweaters. In fact, I have one right here one of their sweaters from like last season or maybe two two years ago probably but they love to pair their skirts and stuff with sweaters oversized stuff so they'll pair it with stuff like this right they'll pull it up a little higher it becomes this cute little like you know it's warm but it's kind of cool but I want to be cute with a skirt but also want to be snuggly and then like with a little pair of um, like sneakers or something maybe something white I did get some shoes but they were a dud so I didn't want to spend too much time on them but you know, this is certainly a look and a style and I like it. I'm gonna keep the skirt. I'm gonna keep the top because it's <laughs> so cute, but I'm not gonna wear them together, that's for sure. Okay, but does this cardigan make you think of that dude on TikTok who's always acting out, you know, dramatic scenes of just women in their cardigans? <laughs> anyway, um, I love it. I love oversized cardigans. It is a staple for me. 100% of the year pretty much. The cold, cold, cold winter is probably the only time that I struggle to actually incorporate them because I need a real jacket. And I don't know about you, but I'm not a serial killer. I cannot wear thick sleeves underneath a winter coat. Like I, I could never. So that's probably the only time I don't incorporate oversized cardigans. Um, I don't really like the fitted kind. This is me. So you can put anything under it. You can make it a little more dressy. You can definitely 
you know, bring it down, make it more casual. Um, you could do either or, and I find that American Eagle has a lot of really great oversized cardigans, and so does Urban Outfitters, um, and so does Target. I found quite a few from Target as well. I just tend to gravitate towards these earthy tones, these very cool little neutrals, you know what I mean? Um, and Urban and American Eagle tend to have these more so versus like the really solid like white, black, blue like I tend to stay away from those I like the ones that have a little bit more to them so this is definitely going to be a new staple for me um, I don't have one that looks like this with the big pockets like this I don't have one in this exact tone I love it it's going to go great on top of like anything really I mean I wear them all the time if you follow me on like Instagram or something I typically I'll post my outfits and stuff on there and you'll see that I incorporate oversized cardigans all that time so they're a staple for me and this one I think was like 60 bucks 50 bucks maybe it, this is from Aerie this was 54.95 regular price again I think I saved some money somewhere at Aerie but I don't know um this dress I don't like so when it comes to feeling like wearing something like this with you know an empire waist okay just typically this is not really like a very sexy kind of silhouette pairing it with an oversized cardigan again not really a sexy silhouette um but what i find really helps to elevate the outfit and make it feel a little less dowdy um which is just my opinion of how i look in it um i like to expose skin somewhere so like this length is a couple inches above my knees uh i wear stuff up here sometimes and that's like a, you know a little extra exposure it just kind of changes the look and feel of it but for me my favorite thing is to wear like a spaghetti strap dress so the fact that this has sleeves and they're like these fluttery sleeves and the top is flowy it's not showing any cleavage it's not bringing enough skin in as far as i'm concerned um it makes me feel very matronly and that's not a feeling I want to have when I'm wearing my clothes. Otherwise, I mean, I think it just runs too big. Like, maybe if it was an XL, but I don't like the neckline. I don't like what's happening up here. This is, like, not me. But it's still cute. That's why I bought it. But it's just not me. While we're on the subject of not really me, let me just go ahead and put on this dress, which I wasn't going to end up showing you guys ultimately because I don't like it. It doesn't fit well. And I could tell that from the package. From the package? I'm gonna go ahead and take a step back and let you see. It's a romper. <laughs> when in doubt, make sure it's not a romper. Um, this one is that same material as that initial skirt that I showed you with like the tiered look to it. I don't hate it, I don't love it. I'm and Now that I'm looking at myself in it, I like I get why I bought it. I bought it because I thought that the, um, the print on it was like understated, but it's very pretty and it's very neutral, but it has color, which I liked. So, you know, you could bring in like a pop of color with a bag or with your sandals or something like that. Uh, but I just think it's not my style. Wow, I kind of love the smattering of like all the flowers right on the butt. Um, it is really comfortable. Oh, it should have pockets. There's no reason for there not to be pockets here. Oh, now it's like really closed. Like, if they had an in-between this, I'd be into that. Uh, it does have this little tie around the waist. However, it doesn't really, doesn't really do anything. It's kind of just for show. Um, and then the sleeves, even though I, I thought they were, I was sure they were going to be too tight, they are elastic, and so they fit just fine. They have a little puff to them. It's a cute little, again, <laughs> wish there were pockets. It's a cute little neutral romper. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. I freaking love their rompers and their jumpsuits and stuff. This does come with... Uh, straps they're like connected to the tag right now and I would 100% wear it with straps I don't love how it looks without them but I love the color it's like this creamy off-white color it's got like these blue green little flowers all over it and then I tried it on the other day initially with a pair of shaper panties on which I would probably wear just because again it's a little bit see-through you can see the thong yeah so with a shaper panty I loved how these felt um, it's weird though, like, cause the underneath the lining is very fitted on me. Like I can feel it everywhere. But then out here, this has clearly like an extra inch or so of material. And so it's not nearly as fitted. And so it feels fitted from beneath, but from above, you can't really tell how fitted it is. Or maybe you can, I don't know. But 
I think overall it's a good fit. And since I'm 5'4", this is a pretty good length. I could pop on some shoes, which I'm gonna do in a second, but overall it does fit well, but like be uh, mindful of the stomach area because I am probably at capacity and this is an XXL. Um, so they do have other options that flow out from like the waist oftentimes, and those are a better fit for people who have a little bit more lower belly going on. I mean, typically that's what I look for just to make sure it's gonna fit. But I like that it has a wide leg, but it's not like so wide that I look like I'm wearing clown pants. Like that's rough when you're trying to actually be out in the world walking around and stuff. And then, oh my gosh, one time it rained and I had pants on like that. Oh my gosh, and I was in the city and I had my kids and stuff, like there was nothing I could do about it. And so my pants were wet up to my thigh because they were just absorbing every ounce of moisture. It was a nightmare. Um, and then they got huge, you know, cause that's what they do. But overall this is really comfortable. The waist is um, elastic and let me show you. I bought these shoes. These are not typically my style, but I was like, I need to just step out of my comfort zone, try some different sandals and stuff this year. And I do love American Eagles shoes. I think they always have really cute little options. Um, so I read the reviews and everyone's like, size down, two sizes, one size. They're so big, blah, blah, blah. And I am pretty much through and through a size nine, right? <laughs> and so I was like, well, I would hate for them to feed you know, fit my feet all huge. So I set it down to an eight and a half. Girl, no, why, for what? I guess if you have skinny ass feet, perhaps, but I do not. So um, I have, I'm like teetering on the edge of wide width, uh, but typically I don't need a wide width. So these were $39.95. I got them in an eight and a half. I do think they're really cute. And this is like fully elastic. And this I was hoping was also gonna be fully elastic, but it's not. From the outside you see the elastic, but from the inside it actually has like a leathery kind of strip under there to keep it from stretching. Um, so, I didn't love that. Let me pop them on real quick though. Okay, so I went ahead and popped them on. You can see them now. They have a little bit of a platform on them. They fit, I mean, I'm wearing them. I can get them on and everything. Do they run big? They run, they don't run big really, in my opinion. If you have a wider foot, do not size down, just stick with your actual size. Don't size up. Maybe sometimes you size up, don't size up. Just stick with your normal size. As far as the length goes, I mean, these pretty much look like an eight and a half on me. I needed them in line, so. I'm gonna return them because they don't fit great, but I might try them in a nine. I will say that it's kind of irritating because my foot goes over the side a little bit on the inside part and that's just like a blister waiting to happen. But anyway, <gasps> these are fart shoes. Oh, good to know. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will have the links to everything down below. I have a ton of stuff coming. I'm filming, 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 okay? So if you miss me here, you can always check me out on Instagram or uh, TikTok. And I, I try to post my vlog channel here and there, but I haven't been vlogging that much to be honest with you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I have lots of new stuff coming. So I'm excited.